Welcome to the channel. You're watching Texas Silver. Let me move over so you can see this, this bad boy right here. That was actually my first Obama purchase, uh, chambered in 308 or uh, 762 by 51. She's a beast. Love her. Uh, anyways, uh, <laughs> I wanted to put this video out and I'm going to kind of just go off the top of my head. Uh, sometimes I'll write a, not really a script, but just some notes to keep me on, on topic, but I just got off the phone with Jeremiah Babe and we were kind of talking about this and it just blows my mind that, that people don't get this. But I, I guess a lot of this has been done purposefully over time, obviously since the Federal Reserve came into power uh, through the school system, through you know, all that garbage through the colleges, all that, they're, they're dumbing down the population. And it's like people today, average people don't understand gold and silver, their purpose. Uh, they don't understand the dollar. They don't understand how the economy and how the monetary system works. They don't understand that it's debt-based. And so, I'm just going to go over this and obviously this is probably not for most y'all that watch this channel. If you're here, you probably get it, but maybe if you're having issues getting through to a family member, a friend at work, maybe I can shed some light on this. Uh, because the thing is I'm constantly trying to wake up people, uh, not just on this channel, but just friends of mine, people that I work with, family, Anyone that's willing to listen, I try to get them to understand what is going on with the monetary system, what's going on with the dollar, why it's so important, so important to get out of debt, to not hold dollars, and to get into real assets, gold, silver, and obviously there's there's other assets to be in, such as uh, this beautiful girl to my uh, my left. But so, anyways, I'm going to try and break this down as simple as I can, just know that this is not financial advice. I'm not a financial planner. I, I don't have any licenses to uh, give financial advice. This is what I'm doing. This is what I tell my friends and family to do. A lot of my friends and family are doing this. And there are actually some people that I have gotten convinced to buy gold and silver and they've purchased it and it's still like they have questions and they don't completely understand why they're doing this and they're still wanting to hold dollars and I, <laughs> two of them i there's there's two of them right now two close friends of mine that they, they call me for financial advice my opinion on stuff because they know that i live and breathe this stuff that it's something that i stay on top of the, the best that i can and they're asking me for financial advice so I'm going to give my opinion on this. I'll probably miss a couple points. So in the comments, if I miss stuff, you know, put it down there. Uh, that's, that's why it's there. Cause we learn from each other and all that. But so both of these individuals have literally a hundred thousand, 200,000, maybe even more in their savings checking account. And the, the the one individual, I guess I'll start with the one individual, uh, stated that it was their retirement. It's their retirement savings. And, you know, just in case all the other stuff goes down. And I'm like, hold on. The stock market, the, you know, all these assets that are electronic are dollar denominated. So if the dollar goes, all these other assets are going to go. So real estate's going to be devastated. The stock market's going to be devastated. Anything electronic is going to be devastated. And so your gold and silver is taking your hard-earned fiat and turning it into something real, something that's going to hold its value, something that's that's had value for 5,000 years. It's going to continue to be worth something. And, you know, and I, and I sent a chart to them and I was like, look, 1913, this is how much until now the dollar has lost for purchasing power. 
And it's literally a downtrend the entire time. I mean, there are some you know ups and downs, but literally almost like at a 45 coming down. And it shows that there's literally almost no value left to the dollar's purchasing power compared to 1913 when the Federal Reserve came into power. It's literally a, uh, and you can go onto the Fed's website, the Federal Reserve's website, Google uh, US dollar purchasing power and graph or something, I did it, literally pops up. It's on the Federal Reserve's website. They're not even trying to hide it, it's there. So it shows that. And then I also Googled um, the history of the gold price. And obviously it's an uptrend. So I'm just like, I, I can't get any more plain English. Like, I don't know how else to explain this to you, but the dollar is going to be worth less tomorrow. It is going to be worth less a week from now than it is today. And it's going to continue to do this. It's done it for the last 110 years or whatever since the Federal Reserve came into power and it's gonna continue that way. So think about in history, besides electronics, TV, stuff like that, what has in your life has ever gotten cheaper or taken less dollars to buy? Vehicles have gone up, housing's gone up, food's gone up, fuel's gone up, energy's gone up, um, clothing, just basic life necessities. And it's not that these items are getting more expensive, it's the dollar is losing purchasing power so it takes more dollars to, to buy the same goods and services that you used to buy a week ago, a month ago, a year ago, 10 years ago, whatever. And then you look at the gold price and gold, yes, there's pullbacks. It, you know, it's a market, it, it, it goes up and down, but gold has been an uptrend the, in, the entire lifetime of the dollar. And it's because the dollar, it takes more dollars to buy that gold. So the gold is gonna be, preserve, it's gonna preserve your wealth. It's gonna preserve your purchasing power. I'm a firm believer that eventually these metals are gonna explode. I think we're starting to see the beginnings of that. And so I don't think of that as an, as, I don't think of it as an investment, but I think precious metals eventually will be an investment for sure silver. Silver is gonna outpace gold, it's, it's gonna, freaking explode. So you're taking these these dollars that are losing purchasing power every day, fiat backed by nothing. Nothing backs the dollar except for faith. Um, I guess the petrodollar, which I guess that's pretty much gone now that the Saudi Arabia deal is over with. Um, and the US military, that is how we've been able to keep the dollar in power is because we've gone and asserted our might, our military industrial complex across the world and pretty much bullied people into having to use the dollar. Well, all that is changing. The BRICS nations are gonna change all this. I, I'm a firm believer of that. It started out five nations, Brazil, Russia, India, China, South Africa. If you don't know about any of this, look it up. But so these countries came together, they're tired of the US's bullshit and so they're coming up with their own payment system, with their own uh, financial system to trade goods and services, and they wanna circumvent the dollar. They're, they're tired of being uh, bullied and the dollar being abused. And the US has benefited greatly from having the world reserve currency, but that is gonna go away. So then there's five other nations that have joined BRICS um, to include the UAE and Saudi Arabia, which are huge, OPEC nations. Then from what I understand, there's 59 other nations that have signed, uh, formally applying to become a BRICS member. Um, I'm, I'm hearing possibly October that they're gonna release their monetary system to where they're gonna be able to settle trade in all their local currencies and also gold. So apparently the word is that this new, uh, and I think it's called the unit, is gonna be partially backed by gold. So why would you wanna hold dollars that are backed by nothing, that are losing purchasing power every day, when you can hold something that is redeemable or backed by gold? Real things. So I, I think the, the dollar is going to it's gonna greatly speed up once all this gets dropped. 
on the U.S.'s lap, you, you have Russia, you have China, you have India that are buying gold and silver at the fastest pace that they've ever done in history. You have central banks that are doing the same thing. Uh, and I had this individual, uh, she got uh, XRP and was asking about that. And I was like, look, I, I wouldn't invest any more in the crypto than, than you can afford to lose. Could it explode? Sure, fine, whatever. But... <laughs> I, I'm not in it. I'm not going to sit here and say don't do it. But you, in my opinion, need to have a, a healthy position in gold and silver to protect your wealth. If you have some money that you, you can't afford to lose, uh, personally, I feel it's gambling. Uh, the thing is, cryptos have only been around for 10 years. So they haven't been tested through a recession, a depression. Gold and silver have been tried and tested through both of those. I believe we're in a depression right now. The The U.S. seems like they're too scared to even say recession, more or less depression. So can you imagine once they're forced to say recession and eventually depression, uh, these, metal, these metals are going to explode. But my thing is the smartest money in the world, central banks and these countries, they aren't buying cryptos. They're buying gold and silver. I want to be doing what the biggest, smartest money is doing. And, you know, I've been asked, well, why, why don't I hear about this on mainstream media? They don't want to talk about this. They don't want us to know. They want us in the U.S. dollar. The media is controlled by the government. The government's being controlled by these central banks. And they don't want us to know. If they were to even come out and say all this that's going on and the general public finds out about this, what's going on with bricks and gold and silver, it'd be over like that. People would be running to the banks, pulling their cash out, which they're already doing. Uh, there's already bank runs going on as we speak. Um, but people would run for exits. Money wouldn't be there. And it would be chaos, uh, blood in the streets within 24 hours. So they don't want anyone to know until everyone knows. And so everyone's going to find out all at once. They don't want to let this out any sooner than they have to. Uh, so I think these countries and central banks are positioning because they know what's coming. They're not buying cryptos. They're buying gold and silver. So that's what I'm going to do. Um, another thing that I talk about with, with gold and silver when people ask, I'm like, okay, Say you do invest in the market, you have to pay capital gains tax on whatever uh, gains that you make in the market. Obviously, they're not realized gains until you actually cash out whatever stocks or whatever you have going on. Then if you're going through some sort of money manager, they're taking a cut of that. And then when you actually do cash it out, you're going to pay taxes on that because it's taxable income. So it's going to add to whatever you make for the year. And then you're going to get taxed on top of that. So my thing with gold and silver is it's private. It's, you know, no one's going to know about it. If you go take a coin down to a coin dealer and say you bought that coin for, you know, 10, 10 years ago, you bought it for 1200 bucks or whatever gold was a, a decade ago. And you take it down there now and they give you $2,500 for that. Are you going to pay taxes on that? You know, I'm not, I'm not saying don't pay your taxes and all that, but you're, you're not going to have capital gains tax and it's up to you what you want to do with the profits. If you want to let the, the government know about that, but like you're, you're not paying your financial advisor. And that's another thing. Uh, people, I'll tell them, ask your financial advisor if you should get physical gold or silver. And I can already tell you, they are going to say no. And the reason that they're going to say no is they don't make a dime off of that portfolio. Any money that you put into physical gold and silver, they don't make any money off of that. So that's when I tell them, look and see what they say and see if they really have your best interest at heart. Because any good financial advisor will tell you, yes, sure, you should probably have some exposure to gold and silver, 5 10%, whatever. Uh, me personally, I think you need... 50% these days, uh, just because of the way everything's going. Um, but yeah, they don't get paid. So if they're advising you not to do physical gold and silver, I would highly question, you know, who are they really, you know, where, where does their, um, loyalties lie? Are they trying to line their pocket? Or are they really trying to help you out? Um, another friend of mine that, 
you know, has made quite a bit of purchase in metal, uh, still has a couple hundred thousand or more in the bank. And I was like, what are you doing? Like, I would much rather that cash come out fine. If you want to hold cash, take it out of the bank, put it somewhere safe. Uh, but, you know, I understand having six months, a year of savings on hand just in case something happens to you uh, to where you can pay your bills. I get that. But me personally, I'd rather take that 100, 200 grand, whatever you have, put it into metals. Yes, you do want to have some cash on hand, uh, you know, maybe 10 grand in cash, whatever, five grand in cash for emergencies if ATMs, all that stuff goes down. But take that money and put it into metal, something that you know that it's least going to maintain its purchasing power. And so these individuals are holding this cash thinking it's a safety blanket. And I'm just like, why are you wanting to save something that I can guarantee is going to be worth less tomorrow? And they're like, well, what if gold goes down? Whatever. Well, whatever. It's always gone up. If it pulls back, fine, whatever. Buy more, buy the dips. But I can guarantee you that the dollar is going to be worth less tomorrow, the next week, month, year from now, whatever. I can't guarantee you that gold is going to have uh, be more valuable because, again, it's the dollar losing purchasing power. But you can look at the trends that have happened over the life of the last 100 years of gold, and it has always gone up. It's an up trend. So, like, I just don't understand why these individuals want to hold on to dollars. And I think what it comes down to is it's because it's what's they, what they've always done. And that's what everyone's always told them since you're a little kid. Oh, you put your money in the bank. You, you save dollars. You know, that's, that's what you've been told. And that's what I was told. But there was a point where I started realizing that there were issues with our monetary system. And so I went digging for the answers and I found out all this stuff. That's how, money or I'm sorry, fiat comes into existence and that it's a debt based system and that they have to keep printing it or the system dies. And so until someone has that aha moment or starts questioning things and, and goes to look for these answers, they're not going to know about this. They're going to go by with what their friends do, what their family does, what everyone's always told them. And that's you work, you take your money and and you put it into savings and you know maybe invest in the market, but you need to be diversified. I look at precious metals as preserving my wealth, wealth insurance. So if you wreck your car, you don't go buy car insurance after the car is wrecked to fix it. They're they're like, no, that was like they're not gonna cover that. So you don't want to be late to this party. I, I've been buying precious metals since 2016. I'm going to keep buying it until they finally uh, become just astronomically priced or unobtainable. But that is my retirement. That is guaranteeing my, my wealth and that I will have some sort of wealth that I can transfer from this financial system to whatever comes out next. Uh, you hold it in your possession. No one... I mean, unless someone comes and physically steals it from you, it's yours. You hold it, you own it, and and it's it's probably the safest. I don't I don't trust these banks. It, it is the safest place to hold your wealth, in my opinion, is gold and silver physically in your possession. Um, but I I keep trying to explain to them how the financial system works about bricks, all this stuff that's going on. And to me, it's just, I mean, it's screaming red to me that like, you need these metals. And I, I, I think they, they get it, but I just don't understand why they want to hold so much cash. So if you have friends, family that you're trying to get through to them, maybe this video uh, will, will help, but it's, it's not just gold and silver. I, I have a lot, a lot of <laughs> fiat that I have transferred into these tools that, that you see right here. Um, ammo, the guns, uh, I, I've, I've got freeze dried food, tools, there, there's, uh, you know, land, cattle, uh, my goats, 
I try and diversify it out. So it's not like I'm a one trick pony and it's like, oh, gold and silver, gold and silver. And, and obviously mainly silver. But you got to be diversified, folks. Uh, please, everything that I'm hearing with these banks, a lot of banks are insolvent, on the verge of going insolvent. And that's coming from the FDIC and the Federal Reserve. So it's not even, I mean, it's, for them to be saying it, it's got to be bad. So I wouldn't hold a lot of cash in the bank. If you want to hold cash, fine. Get it out of the bank. Hold it in your possession. Put it somewhere safe. Um, but I, I think gold and silver is the place to be uh, if you want to preserve wealth. If you just need a lot of wealth preservation in one small package, I, I think that's that's a very good place to go. Obviously, you need to have your, your water, your food, um, your security, and, and, and all those things. So... Um, yeah, I guess I'm going to leave it at that. I know I probably missed some points, but I just, please don't be in the U S dollar <laughs> be in anything, but the U S dollar, uh, w when I get paid, obviously I have to be in the dollar. I get paid, I pay all my bills and whatever's left. I pull it out either in cash or I put it in silver or some sort of other asset that I think is going to benefit me. Uh, I, I think, especially with the events that, uh, took, took place a couple days ago. Um, I don't know that I want to go into that, all that, but I'm just thankful to God that, that he was looking over that man. And that could have, could have definitely, you know, eighth of an inch, uh, difference could have, could have changed history. So I'm, I'm glad that, that God is looking over that man and, uh, hopefully, I don't want to get political, but hopefully everything goes well uh, that he that he gets in there, and I, I I hope he can fix some things. I just I, I don't know. I think this this country may be too far gone, but I think he's the man for the job uh, if if this whole thing is going to go down. So I really think we're running out of time. Remember, Bill Holter he stated he didn't even think that we were going to get to the get to the elections, and <laughs> he was an eighth of an inch uh, almost right. So crazy times, make sure you're still preparing security, uh, some sort of martial arts, some sort of, um, uh, what is that? Some sort of physical training, stay in shape, relying on, on this man upstairs, praying to him, st stay close to God. We're going to need him more than ever with what I think is coming on. This is, this is evil. This is going to be um, what is that called? Spiritual warfare. Uh, Jeremiah talks about that, but yeah, I believe it. Uh, we, we are in some evil times. There's some evil people in this world and, uh, it's just, mm. I'm going to leave it at that. Please be safe out there. Keep saying your prayers. Stay close to God. Thank you so much for supporting the channel, sharing the videos, liking the videos, comments, all that. And I guess I'm going to leave it at that. I uh, did get some hay today for the cows. That was that was expensive. Spent about $700 on that. So that was, I would have much rather spent that elsewhere. But it's starting to get dry out here. Hopefully we get some rain. But that's it. Texas Silver out. I'll quit rambling. God bless everyone. Thanks for being here.